To understand Vincere's efforts on creating therapeutic molecules for Parkinson's disease, let's talk about mitochondria and the natural removal of damaged mitochondria or mitophagy. In order for the body to function, our cells require energy, which is supplied by mitochondria in the form of ATP. Like all things in nature, mitochondria become damaged frequently, causing them to produce less ATP and more harmful reactive oxygen species. To fix this, damaged mitochondria need to be broken down through mitophagy and replaced with healthy ones through mitochondrial biogenesis. So here is how Parkin-mediated mitophagy happens. An enzyme called PINK1 is recruited to the mitochondrial membrane. When the mitochondria is healthy, it removes PINK1. However, when the mitochondria is damaged or depolarized, this PINK1 enzyme accumulates on the outer membrane and starts to phosphorylate outer mitochondrial membrane proteins. This, in turn, leads to the recruitment of another enzyme called Parkin to the outer mitochondrial membrane. Parkin polyubiquitinates, or adds a chain of ubiquitin molecules to the outer membrane proteins. The ubiquitin chains act as a signal for the cell to send its autophagic machinery. When an autophagosome forms around the whole mitochondria, it sequesters it from the rest of the cell so that the reactive oxygen species can no longer cause damage. It then transports the mitochondria and fuses with a lysosome, where the acidic environment and hydrolases break down the damaged mitochondria. This breakdown then signals to the cell to create new mitochondria in a process called mitochondrial biogenesis. The yin to Parkin's yang is another enzyme called USP30, which serves to de-ubiquitinate, or cut these ubiquitin chains. As Parkin and other ligases add ubiquitin chains on, USP30 keeps taking them off, thus slowing down the process of mitophagy. By localizing at the TOM complex near PINK1, USP30 can also take off ubiquitin even before PINK1 has a chance to phosphorylate them and initiate mitophagy. That way, USP30 increases the threshold that PINK1 requires to induce mitophagy and emerges as a key enzyme able to modulate this process. An average mitochondrion in the brain lives for about 30 to 40 days inside the cell before it is cleared and replaced with other healthy mitochondria. Mitophagy signals for making of new mitochondria, restores efficient energy production, and helps return the cell to its normal state of homeostasis. In brains of patients with Parkinson's disease, there's an abnormally high percentage of damaged mitochondria. So increasing mitophagy to more quickly clear these damaged mitochondria will, in turn, increase the number of healthy mitochondria and counteract this key deficit. At Vinceri, we are working to make small molecules that can increase mitophagy either by inhibiting USP30 or activating Parkin, with the goal to remove damaged mitochondria and return the cells and the whole system back to health.